Hi everyone, it's Deborah at Heat Transfer Source and I am working on a St. Patrick's Day project. And I'm doing some things that are new to me because I created my own artwork. <laughs> and it's taken me hours because I've never done this before. And uh, I made little clovers to as a border for the pillow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a pillow. So we're going to offer these pillow blanks. I think these will be around $7.99 on our website, which is a great price, especially if you're in business for yourself and you wanna make a profit. They're very sturdy and um, I think you'll like them. Anyway, it's the first time I'm doing it. So I've selected three colors. We have a lot of different greens but I didn't want the Christmas green. So I have this kind of sea foamy green and then a hologram and then a black one, two, three flex. So here goes, I'm gonna get started. Wish me luck. I've put it on vinyl. I have mirrored it. I think it's always strange where Cricut decides to cut cutting in the middle of the image. Go figure. This is gonna take a while, so I'll be back to you in a minute. So this is what I use to pick up the weed scraps from my Matt does a pretty good job of picking up most of them. There you go, all done. Okay, round two. I've picked a green that's not a Christmas green. It's our um, like a seafoam green glitter, which I think is prettier. And let's see, my image is 12 wide and 10 high, so if I cut it about 13 by 13, that should be good. I'm going to mirror this too. I have learned to roll my mat away from my vinyl. It keeps it from rolling. And I have this self-healing uh, mat that I have down here. And self-healing, I guess, is that it um, won't, once you, if you cut on it, it heals itself, which is pretty cool. I guess that's what it means. All right, we have our little shamrock frame. So now I want to make a black frame to go under these because I think they'll show up better on the pillow. So I'm going to get, kind of move me over here a second, um, shapes and work with a, two squares. See, I'll just start with one and then I'll duplicate it. So with this one, I wanna get it to the size of, I'm going to unlock it on this lower left corner and get it to the size of the frame. Let me send it to the back so we can see. Um, I want it just to be just a little bit Bigger. I don't want to get it too much bigger than my mat. Okay, that looks good. 
Now I'm going to do duplicate that up here. And I'm going to make that one smaller. So again, I'm going to unlock it and grab it by this bar, take it inside the first one, put it down. Needs to be a little shorter. And I think that will work. So I'm going to go over here again, and I'm going to hide those. And now I'm going to select all and slice. And that's going to slice out the middle part. And there's our frame. Ta-da! Yay! My mat is a short mat for Cricut. And uh, it's 13 inches. And this image that I'm cutting is 12 and a half. So ah, I'm just going to do it. I'm too impatient to wait and get a longer mat, so I'm cutting this, and it is right down to the bottom of this mat. So we'll see. Hope it works. Yes. Now I'm ready to press our St. Patrick's Day design on our pillow blank. As I mentioned before, this is about an 18 inch square pillow with a um, hidden zipper. First, I'm going to find my center lines by putting it in half, just like you would a t-shirt. I'm using our Insta Model 201, which I love. Just gonna give this whole thing a good press. All right, that gives me a good foundation and a center line. Now, I, this is flock, this is gonna be the frame. So, to find my center lines here, I just do the same thing I finger press. the vinyl that will um, press out when you heat press it. Make sure that you're pressing, that you're finding the edges of your actual image and not the edges of the masking of the tape. I know that's pretty obvious, but sometimes I have to remind myself. Okay. So I had good visuals of my center lines. I've got the image right in the middle of my heat press plantain. If you don't have a heat press, you can also use a home iron. Put it on the highest setting, no steam. You don't have to use a release paper with this because you're pressing onto the mask. And I'm only going to press it, instead of pressing it at 15 seconds, I'm only going to press it to tamp it down because I've got more layers I'm going to put on top of it. So I'm going to press it for about uh, 10 seconds. Remember when you peel your mask, you want to do it low and slow, and with flock, you can peel it 
warm or cold. Boy, this flock is nice. And it is just, this black is so rich. And it's soft to the touch. Lovely. My next layer is the little shamrocks. This I want to take my time with. Get it on there perfectly. That looks really good. And this I'm gonna use a release paper just because there's a little bit of exposed flock on here. I'm gonna press this one a little longer. I have my heat press set at 320, so I'm gonna press it for about 10 or 15 seconds just to get it pressed down since we're gonna be pressing it again. This time I'm going to show you, we're going to do a cool peel with our cooling block. This thing's a lifesaver. Just makes things go faster. Again, Flock is a warm or cool peel. One of the few HCDs that you don't have to cold peel. This is glitter. Oh, it's so pretty. Here's the blessing. Again, I'm gonna find the center line by pressing the image, the transfer tape. And remember, you wanna find the center line of the image itself. You know, this is when you really want to take your time with this. And when I do videos, I usually rush, but I'm going to actually do that one more time. Make sure all of your vinyl is covered. And I'm going to press it for about 10 seconds. This is our 123 flex. It only requires three seconds. And that you can do with a warm peel, but I'm going to do a cool peel simply because I want to. I love this one, two, three flex. It's easy to weed and it's just easy to do everything. Let's give it one more good press. Um, final press I'm gonna do for about 15 seconds. Because I'm also gonna do, I think, Put a little something something on the shamrocks. Here we go so far. Okay, I'll be back to you in a minute. Hi everyone. I am still working on my St. Patrick's Day pillow. This is one of our new blanks that we're offering. And I decided to add a little more shine to the glitter. So I'm playing around with Spectrum and I always do a test cut, always. And I found out, I first put it on Vinyl Plus and it just didn't cut it. And then I put it on light cardstock. And I'm so glad I did a test cut first. So remember to do that, it's really important. Okay, instead of hologram, I've decided to add spectrum because I found an extra piece that I stole from the warehouse. 
And uh, I've already created this little image to lay over the clover, but I'm going to show you how I did it real quickly and then I'll show you the image. So I went into shapes and I got circles and I um, got one circle. I decided to put like little dots in the middle of my clover, four leaf clovers. I think that would be cute with spectrum. So I put the dot the size I want and then I just duplicated it numerous times. I mean numerous times. Then I started placing them around and I took more time than this. I'm just showing you to give you an idea of what I did. And then I'll show you the final result. Um, I'll do just a couple of more. I'll do one row. Of course, on the real deal, I would take more time <clears throat> and did these because they're in supposedly the exact order that I wanted them to be. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. And then I attached them. And then I did that for each side. Okay, so let me show you what the end result looks like. It's over here under the weld result. I'll turn on the little eyeball. And so this is just simply going to be another layer that I made. And I'll show you as we go to the heat press. Here's my spectrum. Beautiful stuff. And I put it on cardstock plus to weed and see how easily it weeds. Also, just so you can see, I put a little extra tag on one side to remind myself that that's the bottom. All you wanna do is be careful that you don't let your transfer tape get st stuck to each other. And I've got my heat press set to 320. Um, I don't really know what we're supposed to iron spectrum at, so I'm just gonna do it, put it on there for about five seconds. Because I'm gonna press it also just to finish things off. All right, let's take a look at this. That's going to add a cute little pop of shine to this. And the spectrum is so great because it changes colors. All right, Hotel California. It's at 320. Leave it on for maybe 10, 15 seconds. And then I think we're going to cool peel just in case. That's just a little pop of happy. One more press. All right. And here we are. I'm pretty happy with it. You'll find lots of tutorials on our YouTube channel, so please subscribe and take a look at our other social media too. Thanks everyone.